Hi everybody, welcome back. We're looking today at Jeremy Duff, Elements of New Testament Greek. We're in chapter 9, really simple lesson today. We're looking at two words, alos, an adjective meaning other, and alelos, a pronoun meaning one another. Now for some reason people get these confused, uh, a bit of a tangle, and they worry, oh, which is the pronoun, which is the adjective? They get tangled up in all the grammatical stuff. It's really not that difficult. Just think about it like this, how about to show you. They're similar words, alos, alelos, just like other and one another are similar. But the short one, alos, means other, and the longer one, alelos, means one another. Now that couldn't really be simpler, could it? Now then, as to which is a pronoun and which is the adjective, well obviously, if you think about it for like five seconds, you can see that other is an adjective it's a word that describes a noun, and that's how it's used in sentences, just like an ordinary adjective, hot alos anthropos, the other man. Really, really straightforward. Whereas alelos is a pronoun, and it, because of its meaning, as Duff points out, it's never used in the nominative case, because you wouldn't make one another the subject of a verb, but it can be used in all the other cases. And here's an example of how that's used Elegon pros alelon, so you notice you've got the accusative singular. They were saying, it's the imperfect third plural of lego, I speak, say or tell, they were saying pros alelon to one another. Very, very simple. The best way to think about it, short, short, two syllables, alos, other, longer, three syllables, alelos, longer, one, another, three syllables. You use them pretty much just how you use in English, they decline in exactly the same way as ekanos does, which is just like um, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the pronoun, uh, I'm losing myself today, just like the pronoun autos does, and you've got that right there on page 100 at the start of chapter 9, so these really are very simple, not going to spend any more time on them, we'll go straight on in the next video to look at some of the halfway practice exercises in this chapter. Keep going, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day for five or six days a week and we'll have you reading the New Testament in Greek in no time at all. God bless and bye for now.